That's how big it is. Using my hand as a size comparison. <coughs> Been working on this for months. I keep getting longer and longer to finish. This one is so many small dots. I think the dots, what the dots mean are because I'm so insecure in my life that I need to have a sense of control like like other people, like most people do. And the only way I feel like I have any sense of control is to make an image from the very smallest point, almost like from an atom, and uh, build it up. So, uh, you know, I, I've created it pretty much from its little, littlest point of matter or something. But not everything is dots, there's regular old little stitches as well. That face image was made by using monofilament thread on top of the, you know, I laid, laid down some metallic thread lines and dots and then I went on top of it with monofilament thread that I actually transferred the image using the using this stuff called sulky basically you just trace the image onto this stuff then you put that onto the it's, it's fabric it's like a thin fabric And then you put that onto the fabric and stitch on top of it, following the, your guidelines. And then you just wash it off, it'll just disappear in water, and then you wait for it to dry. I'm gonna do another one up here, I tried to, but I, uh, I didn't have a good enough outline, so I'm gonna have to trace it from the beginning all over again. It's this image here, this image of a woman's inside from this old anatomy illustration. It's really old anatomy illustration actually. I got other I, I got the, that image and that image. That's like a uterus and that's a placenta. And I use them on this hoop. That image I made up myself, that face with the tentacles, that sort of sugar skull I made up, upside down sugar skull kind of thing. And then this in here, well here's someone's face coming from one of the tentacles. And then that's some sort of blockhead alien that you could barely see, it's stitched out in red metallic thread and then I put lots of little stitches all throughout it and uh, I don't know how well it can be seen but you gotta look closely and I made up that image too that face combination of metallic and cotton dots and that, that's a piece of meat and so is this I want it to look like block printing the red parts I wanted to look like block printing or etching. Uh, and then I just thought about hieroglyphics and also these, these lines everywhere sort of look like circuit boards slash hieroglyphics. Uh, cave paintings, stuff like that all came to me while I was doing this. It's sort of a horn, two horns on either separated horns. And that was supposed to be four eyes on that 
face, but it, to me it looks like an Asian face with, with eyebrows, and I didn't mean to do that. Snake in the mouth, pig nose. Still working on this up here, right here. This one tentacle expands out, and I have to finish that. I also, uh, I don't know if you could see this, stitched on these little... Well, I had a piece of pieces of wood and round O-rings that I stitched on top of to give it some texture. I'm going to give it a lot more texture. I like to use black on black. It's hard to photograph. Uh, and then this thing will eventually uh, be stretched onto a, fr a frame, like a painting. And... Uh, Wow, it's almost eight minutes. I'll stop. Uh, let's see if I can get close up. A super close up. Oh, man. This close up lens does not stay on anymore. Oh, come on. In focus. Can you see the blockhead guy? Sort of looks like a robot. I'm, I'm used to uh, this thing. Usually gets closer than this. Well, maybe another uh, couple of weeks of work.